nunca vedi I love you Papa l'americano interest are committed the Greek people are committed to making this country a viable economy and certainly to be able to be credible in the European Union and credible to our partners and credible to uh, to the our creditors and you are one of, of them we uh, are credible and will be paying back the loan and with interest struggles. Let me give you an example of that that talks about Greece. There's always a struggle between the creditor and the debtor. It's never correct to imagine that the creditor holds all the cards. The one who lends and the one who borrows doesn't have any. It's always power on both sides. The power of the creditor is to withhold more credit to punish you by saying, if you don't pay me back the way I want, mm, then I'm going to really hurt you. The debtor always has the same power. You don't give me a better deal, I don't pay you back anything. That's always how it, in, in the United States today, millions of homeowners who borrowed money to buy their homes are being pressured by the banks to whom they owe money to make all kinds of concessions to them. The homeowners are saying, I'm not going to make those concessions, and if you don't make a deal with me to reduce my loan by 50%, then I'm going to declare bankruptcy, and I'm not going to pay you anything. I'm going to walk out of my house, I'm not going to give you another nickel, you're going to lose a lot of money, and you're going to be stuck with my house, which isn't worth very much anymore. And so, to use an American express, you lose. That's why a deal has to be made. The United States government has a huge program in which it brings together the banks who lent and the homeowners who can't pay, and they work out a deal. And most of the time, that deal involves the homeowner having less to pay. And that's not because the homeowner has no power. It's because the homeowner has a great deal of power. He has the power to say, nothing you get from me. What are we going to do? put 10 million homeowners in jail? Not going to happen. Impossible. So we got to work that out. Why do I bring this up? The European Union says to the Greeks, you owe 160 billion or whatever it is of, of national debt. Okay, they want to get paid. The banks that own this debt, the, the German and French banks and so on, they want to get paid. Sure they do. And you're Greece, you don't want to pay. Sure you don't. Now we have to work a deal. A deal involves you pay something, but you don't pay everything. That's what ought to happen. The whole world is mystified that it doesn't seem to have happened. It seems instead that the Greeks have said, okay, we'll pay. What? Debtors never do that. Debtors should never do that. It is understood as a normal procedure of business, at least in the United States that when you get to the point where the debtor and the creditor can't, then they make a deal, a deal in which both sides give something. Not a deal in which one side gives nothing and the other side gives what's demanded. The mystery in the world, really, about the Greek situation is that you seem to have agreed that you will pay it all and that you're so happy it's at a little bit lower interest that this is enough. This is not the way this would work out, to my knowledge, in any United States situation. In the United States, people are, are failing to pay their debts all the time, and you sit down and you work out a deal. Bargaining. It's a bargaining, absolutely. And it's politically, it's the, it's the analogy in economics of politics. There's a bargain. Does the ruling class want to impose austerity on the masses? Sure it does. Do the masses want this? No, they don't. Now we have to work a deal. But of course, each side wants to threaten the other, it should be, if you don't do what I want, I give you nothing. Well, the ruling class is saying to the masses, if you don't cave in, disaster will come. I, I see it here. 
Greece every day. If we don't do all this austerity, then does it. That's what everybody always says. But that shouldn't be taken seriously. It's like the worker who says, if you don't come to a deal, I pay you nothing. Yeah, yeah, sure. You, that's what you say. You, we all know you're going to have to do something here. But there's a little bit of my feeling, a little bit in Greece, that, that there may have been an, a successful effort by the European Union, by the IMF, by Angela Merkel, by uh, Monsieur Sarkozy, to claim, well, if you don't do this, it'll be a disaster. 